you as a lab manager or science officer confused about which centrifuge you need to buy for your lab. These are several important factors you need to consider when purchasing a centrifuge. This podcast is brought to you by Gyrozen Centrifuge. Enjoy the most unbeatable and seamless spinning experience with Gyrozen Centrifuge. Hello everyone. Welcome to FC Bios podcast. I am Putri and today we are talking about the factors to consider when purchasing a centrifuge with Jason, who is a trained researcher with years of experience in microbiology and food safety applications. So Jason, can you please enlighten us as I'm also curious on what are the most crucial things to look out when deciding to purchase a centrifuge? Well, Putri, sure. I'm glad to shine a light on this question, right? Okay, choosing a centrifuge for your lab needs is actually a very large investment, all right? And sometimes can be a very complicated process as there are so many models and many factors out there with numerous features that they offer, okay? So evaluating your basic needs or requirement is the first step to ease the selection criteria. Understanding your lab needs is the main or I would say is the utmost important thing in order to select, right? So regarding the, the issue that you brought up, okay, what I think that the important key factors here will be what's the type of centrifuge that you need, okay? Whether it's a refrigerated one, all right, or non-refrigerated, okay? And what is the speed that you need, okay? And what is the safety features of the centrifuge uh, is that or is being offered? Okay, and the roto availability. Okay. Wow, this is great. And I think it helps in choosing the right centrifuge for the lab needs. Um, Jason, or else can you please explain to us, our listeners, briefly on each of the key factors and why this is important? Sure, Putri. First, you need to decide what type of centrifuge that you need for your lab, okay? Centrifuge comes with different categories to cater various lab purposes and application. It can be a micro centrifuge, a low speed centrifuge, a multi-purpose high speed centrifuge, or even a floor standing centrifuge, all right? In order to know more about all these models or types that I've mentioned, I actually recommend our listeners to go to our on-demand webinar on our website as we elaborate more on this. Secondly, what's the maximum speed that you need? Okay, so basically, how fast do you need your centrifuge to go? Okay, this basically depends on your application or your essay, right? So uh, different essays will require different uh, speed. Therefore, different centrifuge will be required, right? As different centrifuge will have its own uh, maximum speed. The safety features of a centrifuge, all right? Basically, the wrong operating uh, procedure of a centrifuge can actually pose a very serious uh, safety issue, okay? You are actually potentially exposed to physical hazard due to a mechanical failure and exposed to even biological hazards, right? Okay. To avoid this incident, here are some features to consider. For instance, the electronical lead lock. This actually prevents the lead from being opened accidentally during centrifuge running. Some of the centrifuge actually comes with the biohazard seal and rotor recognition technology. All right? This biohazard seal actually prevents any leakage from biohazard materials during centrifugation. And the rotor uh, recognition technology actually or recognize or even sense the rotor being installed and ensure that the rotor do not uh, achieve the speed or basically surpass the maximum speed that it's allowed. Okay. okay. So lastly, of course, is the rotor itself and the availability of the rotor. So each centrifuge model actually is compatible to a limited set of rotor and accessories. Mm-hmm. Therefore, our listeners today have to look closely or study closely what's actually available uh, in the market these days, okay? The main thing to consider is basically uh, your tubes or your consumables that you'll be running, okay? 
this is actually important because certain rotors will, is required for certain tubes, for example. Okay. So you mean to say to check the compatibility of the rotor for the tubes that they are about to use? Yes. Right. Tubes including PCR strips or even microclades as well. I see. Okay. Okay. Next is basically the type of rotor that you need. Okay. Certain centrifuge will actually uh, offer both fixed angle or swing out rotor, and some only uh, offer like either of, of it. So therefore, you will need to check uh, the centrifuge, okay? And of course, you need to cross check as well with your application. And lastly, the speed, okay? So do ensure that your assay or your experiment. Uh, speed requirement is actually compatible or able to be uh, achieved by the centrifuge model itself. And of course, when we talk about this, it's actually the rotor itself able to handle your required speed. So you mean to say that there's three points under rotor versatility, which is the compatibility with the tubes and then um, the rotor type, either they want it swing out or they need it as fixed angle, as well as you mentioned about the speed as well for the rotor, right? That's correct. So basically, Putri, you have just sum up the three points. I think this is great, Jason. It is a wonderful sharing, and I'm sure a lot of our listeners will gain benefit from this podcast. Thank you so much for your tips, Jason. Most welcome, Putri. So, dear listeners, just know this. Your lab routine experience is important for us. Enjoy the most seamless spinning experience with our Gyrosen Centrifuge. Feel free to visit our website at www.fcbios.com.ny or you can tune in to our social media, either YouTube, Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn to explore more. And I think, well, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can email us at inquiry at fcbios.com.my. Thank you.